Do you plan on getting married? What does your tattoo mean? Did you go straight into YouTube as your job after uni? How did you clear your skin? Which trends are something else that you don't like? Where do you see yourself in five years? How do you deal with a toxic friend? How did I meet Renee? Hey besties, it's Annika and welcome to today's video. Today, I am so excited to be filming this. I've always wanted to film a chit chat get ready with me and that's what we're gonna do. But I'm going to be showing you how I do my everyday makeup routine and I'm going to be answering your questions while I do it. I asked you for some on Instagram. Make sure to follow me over there if you want video updates, more content. This might be a light makeup look to some, but it is definitely not lacking on the coverage. So I will show you how I achieve that. And let's just strap up. I always need to put my hair back. Even if I just styled it, there's just absolutely no way I am doing my makeup with my hair even remotely close to my face. The headband, it does match the row. It's from a brand called Jerf Avenue. There's an obsession here, we can tell. I also have this and it's just, these are just, it's the cutest print. Okay, so I also have, I have an extra set and you're probably like, who is that for? It's for you. Starting to collect a little pile of things slowly for a potential 50k subscriber giveaway if and when that milestone does happen. I just want to like have all the cutest little assortment of things to get back to you guys. I'm gonna take a sip of my beverage and we need to get into this video. Always sanitizing to start and let's prime this Base. I'm going to be using my two fave primers right now. The first one is this Beauty Blender Boost Firming and Smoothing Peptide Primer. And the second is this L'Oreal True Match Lumi Glotion. I love this peptide primer because it is very hydrating. So I just use this little flat brush to rub in the primer. Okay, let's get to the first question. Do you plan on getting married? Yes, absolutely. Now, if you're asking, do I plan to get married anytime soon? Soon, quickly just need to say this Lumi Glotion is a dupe for the Drunk Elephant Drops just to bronze up the face a little bit um but yes I do plan on getting married I feel like Renee and I are just waiting for us to be at the right part of our lives and both of us be at that part and I just think we'll know once we're there and I'm only 23 it still feels so early and I just feel like we want to be at a little bit more of a I guess you could say stable point in life knowing that you really only get to do this once we just both want to do it the right way also you know what we're not going to talk about today is my nails we're not going to talk about them because they're so grown out I'm gonna moisturize my lips with some of this road peptide what is this lip gloss lip treatment. How do you handle separating personal life from social media? I feel like on a content creator level, it's been really important for me to protect the privacy of like things that are super personal to me, like my immediate family, even my relationship. I feel like I'm barely starting to open up about it online just because I know how people, some people can be on the internet, but like I just won't show certain things online. And I feel like also just remembering to be super present in areas of your personal life where social media is not important like when you're spending time with people you love but i definitely think there's time where you should put the phone away put the internet away because at the end of the day this entire reality is fake and you can just shut the laptop and it's good to remember that you can do that i'm going to use this beauty blender bounce skin tint you guys know i always talk about my very problematic skin that does not like to behave one thing i really like to do is use a brush and a beauty blender so this is a skin tint it's lighter coverage but i do need some coverage and i find that if i blend immediately with a sponge i will shear it out too much so what i'll do first is do a sweep all over my face with a stippling brush and i'll just kind of literally just like solidly painted on my face. But anyways, I was saying that, yeah, I think it's really important to keep like really healthy boundaries with social media. So now that I have an even layer all over my face, what I will now do is go in with the beauty blender and blend out all of those little brush strokes that I have, if you can see that. I'm gonna bring you in a little bit closer so that way you can like see more of what I'm doing. I'm just gonna go in and lightly, very lightly tap because I don't wanna get rid of that coverage. I just wanna make sure that those brush strokes are all blended out. Okay, next question, what does your tattoo mean? Um, I have two, they're kind of in the same area and I've never talked about these online. I have one right here on my wrist. 
and it says toujours, which is always in French. And I got that one because of a Bible verse and it's basically just God saying I am with you always and since God is like ever present in my life and sometimes it's even hard for me to grasp that that someone could be with me at, at every waking second of the day for every moment that this ink is on my body is every moment that God is with me and obviously a tattoo never comes off and then I have this one right here and I got this one on my birthday actually this past year and it's the Roman numerals 12 and 13 I got that one for me and my grandma. My birthday's the 13th of March. Hers was the 12th of March. Ever since I was a baby, I remember celebrating it with her. And this past year was my first year without her. These are always days in my heart that will always go together and be a part of us and be a part of me. So yeah, that's why I got this tattoo. Okay, now I'm gonna go in with this e.l.f. Halo Glow liquid filter. And this is supposed to be a dupe for the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless filter. I honestly, don't know what it does. I think it's just supposed to add more glow to your makeup. I do a super light layer of that and just blend that out with my beauty blender. Now we have like the face base laid down and I have my beverage here that is keeping me so refreshed. What I'm drinking right now is actually the BT Fountain Tea from Peak. They sell things like hydration teas, beauty elixirs, matcha. It's just all different types of beverages that are made from the purest sourced ingredients. And they sent me their Sun Goddess Matcha and their BT Fountain Beauty Elixir to try. This is the BT Fountain one that I'm drinking right here. I just have it poured over some ice so it stays all nice and chilled while I do my makeup. Especially during the summer, I experience really bad, dry, and dehydrated skin. So what the BT Fountain beverage is, it is an electrolyte drink it includes things like hyaluronic acid it also includes clinically proven ceramides to help improve the skin's overall appearance help with elasticity and it definitely has been helping my skin in the summer stay more hydrated more supple you guys know i suffer from the driest skin so whenever i drink it i just feel like there's so many internal benefits i've also tried their sun goddess masha and it is honestly my favorite matcha powder that i have ever used at home i'm telling you guys about this because for a limited time you can buy both of them in their radiant skin duo subscription you can sign up online pause it or cancel it at any time he is offering two bonus gifts with the purchase of their radiant skin duo they will include a glass beaker and a frother with your order you can use my link at peak.com slash onica for 15 percent off of your radiant skin duo subscription thank you so much to peak for sponsoring this part of the video onto concealer i am using this lancome Tint Idol Ultra Wear Concealer. And I'm getting a lot of the same question of like, did you go straight into YouTube as your job after uni? And I would first like to preface by saying, when it comes to like my whole career and like what I want it to be and like what I'm doing, I did go into YouTube as I like to say like my part-time job after finishing undergrad. Quickly for concealer, I like to do a swipe up here to really lift the face and like a mini triangle here. Um, so like you guys know, I was interning with Supergroup and at the time YouTube was already surpassing Supergroup with like pay that I decided to, if they're paying me more than like the entry level job that I want, then it just only makes sense, especially with like this is something I love, this is something I want to pursue, this is something I've always wanted to do. The main thing is I wanted a job that could just support me until I could day trade full time because that's like what I want to do or like part time because you don't even day trade like eight hours a day. So I would say YouTube is definitely an aspect of my career right now. I also do like some social media content creation for a business that I used to work with in college or work for in college um, and I'll still make like content for them like on Canva and stuff like easy stuff like that so I'm also going to do a little bit of highlight right here this concealer guys is so lightweight so I like to do my base first and then I will move on to like eyes and stuff I used to do my eyes first with like the tape and everything and like peel off the tape and have the sharpest most unblended <laughs> wing in the world like that was just so 2016 and if you lived through that you live through history. What songs are you currently listening to? Love your vlogs. Um, what am I currently listening to? These are my two go-tos right now. One is the Charlotte Tilbury contour wand and one is the Makeup by Mario cream contour stick. I honestly think today I'm gonna go Makeup by Mario. And for my recently added, what do I have? I have Morgan Wallen, his album. I didn't realize how much I would like it. This country for me is just summer. Like it just, it makes the summer vibes flow. So I will just wipe 
this brush i love this patrick ta brush on the contour stick and like stamp under my cheekbones press up a little bit and swipe up then i'll take like a little bit of a denser brush and just blend that out i have this one i have Nile Horan because I love One Direction. So you have a gym playlist and I'll do the same thing up here Just kind of stamping near my hairline not really going past this point with my contour I want there to be some light here for the lifting effect. Sorry. I'm getting so in-depth with it I really I really am passionate about my natural makeup techniques. Are you from the RGV? If you are slay if not still slay I am so that is a slay. I grew up in the valley. So not the Cali Valley not the cute one. I don't even know if that one's cute, honestly. <laughs> How did you clear your skin? <sighs> Guys, it was a struggle. Mine was hormonal and I knew that. My derm had told me that. And when I started drinking, this is gonna sound like such an ad, but it's not. When I started drinking Athletic Greens, my skin literally cleared up and i had a feeling it was from like vitamins or nutrients i was missing that was making my hormones freak out i still break out on my period and i still break out here but it's not even half as bad that ag1 cleared up my skin i will say though is it's a probiotic so gut health i knew it had to do with what i was eating I just kind of figured that out based on like when I would drink coffee, I would break out a lot. So I would say I cleared mine with like fixing my gut health and like my gut imbalances and like what I was eating. What are some goals for the summer? Honestly, I wish I had something to tell you. I don't know. I want to take a trip. It just doesn't even feel like summer that much. I don't know if it's because I graduated college. Like the weather is clearly summer, but the vibe is like... I forget that it's June. I'm gonna use the Fenty contour stick. I feel like a goal for me is to read a lot, and spend less time off my phone and enjoying the season because it's my favorite season. And blend. What did you major in? I was a communications major, so all things media, which kind of makes sense for social media. <laughs> which trends are something else in the modern world that you don't like? Okay, now we're gonna move on to cream blush. I have so many faves, I wish I could show them all to you, but hopefully this is the beginning of more makeup videos, so that way I can use some more of this with you. I have been liking to mix my cream blushes. I really like this Say blush, but I will say, what I will say about this Say is that it does not blend as easy as some of my other liquid blushes. So the color is beautiful, but I don't reach for it all the time, like the Charlotte Tilbury. I could blend with my eyes closed and I know it would look stunning. So I will first start with this blush wand. This is in Pink Pop. Oh, okay. So some trends that I don't like from the modern world. Isn't there so many we can all think of? I feel like right now one that's like really, really huge and I feel like I fall victim to it as well is like overconsumption. For me, the all time high of that is TikTok. The overconsumption on TikTok is literally insane, guys. That's what everyone posts on there is just like hauls or like 50 million things from Amazon. It's okay to buy yourself things, obviously, but sometimes I feel like I just want to spend because I'm on social media. Now this is pink gasm. And I would say another thing that I really don't like um, and do not resonate with is cancel culture. It's become like a really violent and angry, bitter place on the internet when cancel culture like takes over. And like, I get it. There's people that shouldn't have the platform that they have and it's good to not support those people. But I think how crazy and like angry and mean people can get with it and like what they say to other people online, even if they're not canceling them, just in general, the way people talk to each other online and talk to creators online or talk to celebrities is awful. And I totally get not supporting someone. There are people that I don't support in this space and in this industry, but I won't bash them online because you're just spreading so much more hate. By trying to cancel out hate, sometimes people end up spreading more of it. And that's just something I wish we could reflect on and be like, we need to fix this and we need to fix how we talk to each other even though we are behind a screen and I will probably never meet this person in my life. Next, we're gonna do brows. There's a question that says, favorite brow product and tutorial. Girl, you have come to the right video. What I like to do is I have been loving this Refi brow pencil. I'll brush them all up. So I will just do little mini strokes here at the front and then underneath, I'll do the faintest little line. 
and I'll just continue that line into like the middle of my brow and then I'll do more little strokes here to meet that underline and then I'll use the spoolie and like kind of harshly brush up because I really want to blend that line out and then just like tiny tiny strokes in the middle of my brow I don't like to touch the end of my brow and that's it that's all I do to fill in my eyebrows what do you think about a long distance relationship I think there's nothing wrong with it I just think it would take a lot of communication and a lot of check-ins with each other to make sure that you're both still on the same page even though you might be far apart. My fave pajama set, currently my favorite one is the one from Jerf Avenue that is literally this print. I'll have it linked down below, that one, so comfy. Now I'm going to use the Refi Brow Gel. I like to not use too much product because this stuff is powerful and I don't wanna look like I got electrocuted. So I will just brush mainly the bottom upwards i'll take the denser end and just lightly fluff them up i'm a fluffy brow girl okay what is your most favorite book honestly i don't have one i don't think i've been reading for long enough as an adult to know like my most favorite book but i can get back to you on that one but you could follow my goodreads if you want to see like my favorite five star reads oh my gosh lola's peeking in i was like is the door opening hi miss gorgeous She's like, hey everyone. Anyways, I will use this powder puff, dip it in my powder. I'm using the Beauty Bakery translucent powder. So I will always go down my nose, up under my eye really close, and then out, out here. So I will just immediately kind of flick it off like that. Favorite liquid blush. Right now at the moment, it's the Charlotte Tilbury ones that I just used. Those are my faves. Any tips for learning about Christianity? How do you study the Bible? Oh, I love that. My favorite translations or like versions of the Bible are the New Living Translation because it's so easy to understand. I feel like that's good to start with. Also maybe getting a devotional. Devotionals basically like walk you through certain verses and like explain them. So it's basically like studying the Bible with like a guide. Maybe you could start with like the books of the gospel like Matthew, Mark, Luke, or John just because those are like Jesus's life and the recounts of his life and everything that he did or Proverbs or Psalms those are like really short verses little lessons tidbits for life I hope that helps you um, I'm gonna go in with this L'Oreal infallible 24-hour bronzer I love this stuff it's very powdery though so you want to tap and I'll just like go on the cheeks okay someone asked how to start loving your life i think remembering that you were put on this earth for a purpose personally this is like what makes me live my life is that no matter what or no matter how bad it gets god is looking out for me he is taking care of me as long as i am close to him and walking with him i guess leaning on that more so than myself leaning on him more than me has made me be able to love life even in the really bad moments also really going into every day with a mindset of gratitude has helped me a lot not so much thinking about what i don't have but what i do have and all the blessings that god has given me okay now that i have bronzed the face i will take a puff with powder on it so, you know just bake i love how snatched that looks that's like the most satisfying part of my makeup for me and then i'll take whatever leftover powder i have and go in the center of my forehead tips on starting a youtube channel please i would say just upload like anything even if the video is like not great because no one's first videos are great uploading consistently the algorithm does like that so you know if it wants to play you you better play it a huge thing is a good thumbnail so even if the video isn't that great take a good thumbnail and don't get discouraged make sure that you keep going even when the views aren't coming in says i don't have an eyeshadow primer and if i want to be super bougie then i will prime my eyes with concealer where do you see yourself in five years i got this one a lot too i have no idea i feel like the next five years are going to depend on the next two years for me if i end up moving out of the city i'm in which is a goal things i want to do so i feel like it all depends on the timeline of the next two years but hopefully i will be married or engaged enjoying life how do you deal with a toxic friend love you girl honestly 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 drop them i've had toxic friends i've had really toxic friends i stayed around way too long and i should have just gotten myself out of that 
relationship. Um, by the way, I'm using the Makeup by Mario palette and I just use these creamy matte shades all over my lid. Put yourself first and if that friendship does not make you feel good, if they put you down, if you feel left out, whatever it may be, take yourself out of it. You'll be so much happier without that person in your circle. Your energy, your presence is worth so much and there are people out there that will value it. Now I'm just gonna use this camel shade, my favorite shade ever, This, and I'm just gonna buff this into the crease really messy. But maybe just distance yourself. That's what I would usually do. And then at some point you can kind of just disappear from their life and it wasn't rude or anything. You guys just grew apart. And truly, sometimes you do just grow apart with people, but then there's other times where like, you guys were just not on the same vibe anymore and you're like, oh, I need to scoot away from you. How did you enter the influencer YouTuber world? I don't really even know that I'm in it. I also hate the word influencer. Nothing makes me cringe literally more. I never wanted to make a platform to influence people. That just makes me sound like a walking commercial. I don't really reflect on it too much. I feel like I was just kind of doing my thing and some people like the thing that I do. So now I'm gonna take this darker brown orangey shade and I'm just gonna put this more directly in the crease and then kind of take it onto the outer corner. How did I meet Renee? This is funny. My best friend at the time and one of his friends were dating and they like wanted to go out to this party. Should I give my friend a code name? Okay, her name is Veronica and his friend's name is John. Veronica and John were like, let's go to this party. Plus Renee had the car. So John was like, drive me to pick up these girls, which was me and my best friend at the time. And like, we'll go to this party. And I was like, you know what? Honestly, I really don't care. I was like, I'm just spending the night at Veronica's house because my mom's not gonna let me go to the party. Mother, if you're watching this, no, you're not. But we didn't go to the same school and they were from like a different city. So they came to pick us up. So we go to the party. Um, it turns out the address is like fake and there's like no party. So we pull up to this like ranch it's so ghetto it's so ghetto because ranch parties were like the thing i don't know if that's the thing everywhere i'm like exposing myself so hard right now john is like well let's just go downtown because i need to preface by saying this is a very normal thing where i'm from so they're like let's go downtown and let's go to a club and while we were there i remember renee and i got really bored and we were like I think it was like, it was already closing. It must've already been like one. And we were waiting at the front for John and Veronica. And we were just sitting down next to each other and we just started just talking. And then we were all finally ready to leave. And we were trying to look for Renee's car and we actually lost his car and we thought it got towed. But then we were like, no, we just can't remember where we parked. So we walked around for literally an hour and a half looking for the stupid car and John and Veronica wanted to go do their own thing. So they started walking, looking for the car by themselves. Erin and I were stuck together looking for the car and we just ended up talking. <laughs> we never found the car. <laughs> Veronica and I had to take a taxi home. After that, I was like, oh, this boy is cute. And we literally met like on accident because our friends were dating and then ended up talking. And I feel like there was, there was chemistry there, but neither of us, I was literally a kid. I wasn't looking for a relationship and neither was he. And we actually, I was 15. I was about to be 16 when I met him. I didn't date him seriously until I was 18, about to be 19. So th there's so much that happens in between there. Why don't you cook more? <laughs> Oh my gosh, you guys are like exposing me. Love your content, by the way. Thank you. I don't think I don't cook. I don't post like when I cook. Guys, I literally make the same things over and over and over and over. I hate cooking. Like I hate it. I have no desire to ever do it. Okay, now we're gonna do some blush. Okay, I'm gonna use this because this is like my everyday go-to. This is the Dior blush in 001 Pink. And I like to start kind of near my temple and I bring it up like really almost to my eye. And then I will always do the bridge of my nose. This next step is vital for my everyday makeup routine. I will take some of this ColourPop white shadow and I will just pat it in the inner corner. I feel like it makes me transform into a fairy. Like I'm just so much brighter, glowier. I'm going to use a highlighter. I have been using this House Labs pink highlighter. This is already a very glowy look. Now for the last steps of this is I do add some faux freckles. I have like the lightest minor freckles ever, but they get covered up with my makeup. So I'll just add some of these because I think they look really cute. And lastly, we can finish with lips. My favorites recently have been Pillow Talk. It's a classic by Charlotte Tilbury. Also this L'Oreal drugstore one in Au Naturel. Today I'm feeling the L'Oreal one. 
and I don't really overline. I think the only thing I do overline is my cupid's bow. I'll like connect it up here. I recently got this Rare Beauty lipstick in the color Lively. I put this in the center of my lips. And then I love this Merit lip oil. It's, a, it's not sticky. It's the best feeling lip oil I have had so far. Lastly, we're gonna finish with some setting spray. Happy to update you. This does not leave a sticky cast on your face that I feel like most setting sprays do. And this is the completed everyday makeup look that I'm always wearing in my Instagram pictures, my videos. I hope you guys enjoyed watching, hanging out with me, chatting with me. How do we like the makeup videos? I wanna make more. Make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you like the Q and A's, go follow me on Instagram. I'm gonna start doing them on my stories so that way I can chat with you guys um, in real time. Don't forget to subscribe because I'm going to be doing a little giveaway soon. These are just the first two items. I love you all so much. Have an amazing day and I will see you in my next video.